What we're looking at here is a conversion kit to allow the Fill Boss uh, counter, fish, counter pressure bottle and growler filler to fill Cynic bags. You see I've got the uh, standard Cynic cap installed onto a Cynic bag. Uh, I've installed the adapter which is a T-fitting that plugs right onto the Fill Boss sensor tube. There's a quick coupler that couples to the bottom. There's a quick coupler that couples to the bottom of the fill tube. And we've also got a gas line and a bleed valve that connects to the small fitting on the Cynic fill system. So we've got the large one connected to the beer flow and we've got the small one connected to a purge valve. And I'm going to connect those to the Cynic bag Hard to do one-handed, sorry. Plug that in. Put the large one in. And then stand the bag up. Okay, I've got the bag stood up here. I'm going to have to hold this. I'm going to press the start button. And you'll see the bag starts to inflate. We're actually purging the bag with CO2. Once it's fully inflated, it's pressurized to the same pressure as the keg. And now you can see flow. I'm using water for the test here. It's actually carbonated water um, coming into the system. You can see the, the bubbles coming through. And that is feeding into the Cynic bag. The Cynic bag is maintaining pressure, as you can see. And we're bleeding it out the back of the standard Fill Boss bleed, which comes through this hose here. So we've got gas escaping on this hose very slowly that's allowing the flow of the carbonated uh, beverage into the bag. And now that's feeding into the bag. Okay, I got it stood up here on its own now. It's feeding into the bag and filling the bag under CO2 pressure. Okay, we're looking at the uh, Fill Boss automated bottle and growler filler. I'm currently filling a Cynic bag using an adapter kit for the Fill Boss, uh, which includes a small T uh, that attaches right to the sensor rod on the Fill Boss. There's a coupler that hooks up to the fill tube on the Fill Boss. This hose then connects to the large fitting on the fill cap of the Cynic bag. And then we've got a bleed system that's coming off the gas line that connects to this position on the adapter, uh, allowing the gas to escape through the standard Fill Boss bleed system. So right now we're in the middle of a fill. You can see the bag is pressurized. We're actually here testing it with carbonated water. Um, you can see the uh, bubbles coming through. It's filling the bag. Uh, we're in the middle of the fill process. You can see by the green flashing light. Now with the Cynics, the automated fills function where when you're using a bottle, the uh, fill boss will normally stop automatically when it's full. Um, but because the sensor rod is not inside the bag, uh, we need to monitor it manually and simply press the button uh, when we complete the fill. So anytime uh, beer gets up to the fill line, which is just below the cap, or if, if it goes too far and you overfill the bag and it'll start coming out the uh, bleed, the small hose, you simply press the button to stop it and the bag will be full. Okay, we're getting very close to the final part of the fill. Uh, I'm monitoring it. The bag is almost full, so I'm going to stop the fill process on the Cynic bag. And you'll see at the end, the fill boss completely pressurized the bag. You can see it's very, very tight to uh, make sure that we've got uh, uh, complete CO2 pressure on the beer. Uh, this will provide very, very long life uh, once they're into the uh, Cynic bag. Now we simply just disconnect the quick connects, leak proof connectors from the Cynic, and we have a completely filled bag um, ready to go uh, into your Cynic unit.